Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9, it reads, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, and their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all, to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. It's only for the elect, man. It's all about the elect. The Lord's going to gather the elect from the four winds, all right, and deliver them. Grace and mercy is for the elect. You see it right there. It's not for everybody. What Bible are you Christians? You, I call you Christians. You Christians read it. The nation of Israel, two-thirds are not going to take heed to this word. They're not going to understand the mysteries, the parables, the deep, dark sands. The majority of the Israelites, they're still caught up in their own vain imaginations, like the scriptures just said. They caught up in their own world. They ain't thinking about Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And the true knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, it's all about them. They caught up. They caught, the majority of the Israelites are still caught up in that damn fantasy world. A dream. They still sleep. They're still dreaming. They ain't woke yet. Even though they know they're the Hebrew Israelites, it says the elect, the, the elect of the nation of Israel, they fear the Lord, they're gonna understand the truth. You you people still don't get it. You you still don't get it. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him, the majority of our people don't trust the Lord. They don't have faith in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. But the Israelites that fear him and that trust him, they do, they understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. The Lord shall stand with the Lord. And grace and mercy is to his saints, which are the Israelites. But, but, but and he have care for his elect. The Lord only cares about the elect on this side. And I'm reading it right here. And this ain't no private interpretation. I'm reading what the scriptures are saying. It's really breaking itself down. I don't even really need to say nothing. Only thing I need to do is just read it. It's breaking itself down. And while we're up under this grace period, the elect is getting their acts together to the best of their ability. Ability. They are fitting less, doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord. But to the ungodly, that's what you mainly see on the face of the earth, the ungodly. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. To see the Lord bring misery upon you prideful people. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be fearful. And it's going to be beautiful at the same time. To see the Lord bring misery upon you prideful ass people. Mainly two-thirds of you Israelites and you heathens too, man. You proud ass heathens. Especially you die East Indians, man. Y'all are proud as shit. All these heathens, man. But the ungodly shall be punished. I thought the God of the Bible was all about love, though, right? So why is he saying he's going to, and it says in um, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, he's coming to punish the wicked people for their wicked deeds, you evil, wicked people, man. Why should the Lord continue to let you live another day on earth? Well, what type of fr beautiful fruits are you producing? You see? But as the scriptures say, um, a wicked tree. It's not going to bring forth good fruit. But the ungodly shall be punished, punished, man, according to their own imaginations. Your wicked, vain thoughts, right? Which have neglected the righteous, the elect, the men that was out there teaching this 100% truth according to the Bible. You neglected them. 
And look, and forsook the Lord. Two thirds, they turn their back is on you. How about Shimei was shy for for the world? When the scripture say, "Love not the world, nor the things that's in the world." We use the world, but we don't abuse it. So we have to go to work and things of that nature. It says, "For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he or she is miserable. They can smile all they want, but these people are literally catching hell. But they're trying to keep a smile on their face." Maybe they really think you really think you can make it through this world without the Lord. Are you serious? It's the Lord that's bringing all the evils. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? He is miserable. Their hope is vain. Because why? They put their hope in man. They put their hope in Babylon, the fallen city. They put their hope in their enemy. So you know it's all vain, empty. Their labors unfruitful and their works unprofitable. So no matter what endeavors you into, whether it's the crypto, whether you got four or five jobs, no matter what you into, look, it's, it's all, it's all going to be unprofitable at the end of the day, right? They're wise, foolish, and you see that, and their children wicked as hell. You see? And, and it is what it is. The Lord only cares about the elect on this side. Matter of fact, let's just get to St. Matthew. The 24th, just something quick. I'm about to head out. Go get this daily bread. And we and most definitely we're one day closer to Israel. Just hold on. The Lord tells me this each and every day. Keep holding on. Keep pushing. One, one day closer. Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 24. St. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get this. Verse on, what is it, 30? Yeah. Because when we make a statement, we got to back it up with a scripture. We say it's all about the elect right now. Only the elect is going to get delivered from the four winds of the earth. Then we're going to prove it according to the Bible. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. It, it ain't, it's everybody, all Israel, all Israel. We're going to see what the, in this red letter, we're going to see what the Lord got to say. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh shine in heaven. You see? Coming from the sky, right? And then share all the tribes of the earth mourn. This is not going to be a peaceful day for the majority of you people on the face of the earth. And they shall see the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh Shai, our Savior, our Redeemer, coming in the clouds, the chariots, the spaceships of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his what? His what? And they shall gather together his what? His elect, the ones that trust in him, the ones that fear him, right? We read that earlier, right? And he shall gather together his elect of the nation of Israel from the four winds. We read that, right? And from one end of heaven to the other. You, you, you didn't even know that. And look, your pastor didn't tell you that was even in the Bible. He says God loves everybody. And this, this scripture proved that God, the God of the Bible don't love everybody. You see? Once again, blessed is he that readeth, all right? Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, what? And with all thy getting, what, man? Get understanding, all right? Let's get another one. Let's talk about the elect, man. We pray for the elect of the nation of Israel, right? Not, a, not all Israel. I don't wake up every morning praying for all Israel. St. Luke chapter 18. St. Luke chapter 18, verse um, 7. Shall not the Most High Yahweh avenge his own elect, his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. And that's a beautiful thing that this place is circling the drain. It's, it's a beautiful thing, man. You proud ass people are going to mourn your asses off soon. Come your asses off, right? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. And we just read about Lord Yahweh shining the multitude of angels coming through with the chariots, beaming the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? It's about to go down, man. You see? Fires everywhere, storms everywhere, floods everywhere, wars everywhere. You 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 name it, man. Deletions everywhere, and it's a good thing, man. I tell you that he will avenge them, them speedily. The elect is the them, not everybody. Nevertheless, 
when the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh, shall come, shall he find faith on the earth? And that, guess what that answer is? Yes. That's why the scripture says, Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Let's get another one right quick. This ain't going to be nothing long because I got the head out. Getting a late start. St. John chapter 17. Let's get this right quick. You're wrong, brother. You, you're breaking it down. You're adding, you're taking away, brother. Well, we're going to see then. St. John chapter 17. We're going to see what the scriptures say. St. John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. What, what do you plantation Christians got to say about this scripture? I pray for them. The elect. We just read that. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Is there any private interpretation in that? But for them which thou has given me, for they are thine. What you, what you plantation Christians got to say about that, man? Huh? What do you got to say about that? Y'all ain't waiting on the Lord. Y'all don't know the first thing about you. How about Shem Yahushai? The first thing. Y'all don't know the first thing about the Lord. You're wrong, brother. You're wrong, brother. What's his name then? And the Lord say, look, you, you, you say you love me, but you don't never do what I command you to do. A bunch of hypocrites, man. So rock chapter 36, because I'm about to roll out. So rock chapter 36, verse, um, let, let's see. Let's get this. So rock 36 and 16, reward them, reward them. That wait for thee. You see that? And let thy prophets be found faithful. A whole lot of Israelites are now waiting on the Lord. They just took matters in their own hand. They look, they said they don't want to hear about the words of the Bible no more. They just went back into the world to pursue their career. And a whole lot of Nick Rose Latins and Native Americans that say they're in the truth. You, you can see it by their actions. They're not. Because actions speak louder than words. And the Lord got the angels watching everything. So the Lord knows what you're doing. All right. You can't fool the Lord. What does it say again? So Rock chapter 36, verse 16, reward them that wait for thee. You see that? Reward the Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel that wait for him. You see? And many scriptures goes into that. And let thy prophets be found faithful. Remember what we read earlier? Shall he find faith on the earth? Yes, he's going to find faith in the earth. Because Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is going to keep that faith within the elect of the nation of Israel. We, we look, we're reading it right here, all right? So y'all just I just want to do something quick. So we got to constantly let that light shine. You see, keep burning that oil, Lord willing, until the Lord come. Blessed is he that is doing the will of the Lord when he come. And Lord willing, we have that number. Yeah, I just want to do something quick through the spirit, man. Uh, just... Just pumping the elect up, man. Lord, one of we part of that whole for another. To just continue to keep going, 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 because the Lord is bringing this place down. And if they speak not according to this word, guess what? There is no light in them. It's all about the elect. The elect shall praise his holy name. Shalom.